lights, camera, action. Yes. Welcome to Toronto. Thank you. I have been dying to speak with you and to meet you, so mm -hmm. this is really exciting for me. How are you liking Toronto? It's been good so far. It's been good. It's not as sunny as I would hope, but I'm from Michigan, so this is how it looks in Michigan all day long, so I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I, I'm here with you, especially because you are such a positive role model on YouTube. Oh, thank you. And um, part of that has inspired me to sort of start this fearless um, interview mm -hmm. where I just talk to people like you that are doing extraordinary things mm -hmm. um, and just share a little bit about you know how you started and what you do so my first question I'm just going to jump right into it okay um, tell us first of all who you are for those of you that don't know uh, or for people that don't know and just how you got started Okay, so my name is Sharnika, aka Shari J, that's what people call me on YouTube, and Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. And I'm a vlogger on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Toronto! <laughs> okay, um, I'm a vlogger on YouTube. Uh, I do natural hair styling tutorial. Um, I also do a little bit of beauty. I'm trying to do more beauty since people ask for it. And mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to also just be positive with like uh, motivational words, telling people about my story, and just getting the word out there. Because I feel like if you share your truth, then other people not only can relate to you more, but also not feel so bad about their, their circumstances. Um, I feel like now with social media, everything is just so glamorous and beautiful and life is great, but life is not always great. You know, people have um, things they need to get over, they run into issues, death, all these things that I experienced in the last couple years that I wanted to kind of talk about and be more open about um, because I just got tired of, I'm pretty all the time, like, no, you're not, girl, come on, let's, let's be real. So, yeah, that's what my channel is about. That's awesome. And tell us sort of... Um, how you got started like what what was the thing that sparked your interest in recording videos and sharing okay so I was a journalist I went to school and majored in journalism uh -huh. had a minor in African American studies and I was like a full-time journalist in school like wow. I was not like I'm just gonna write for the paper like I wrote for the paper got seven internships in writing and like um, public relations and things like that and I started like writing for actual newspapers like after my internships were over. So I was like a full time hardcore journalist. Wow. And um, during that time, it was the digital boom. Like everything was going digital. Like newspapers were dying, and people were like, I know y'all are, are like seniors and stuff, but y'all need to learn how to do this because this this job is not gonna like exist in the next couple mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. so I was like what like you know I put on like all this effort into writing and now they're telling me you're not gonna have a job in five years so um one of my editors was like can you do a video to go along with your article because we need like more diversity on our um um on our website mm -hmm. and I was like I'm gonna do videos so I was like okay so I bought a flip cam remember those flip cams oh, yes <laughs> I bought a flip cam I bought a macbook and I would just like went for it and it took me literally three hours to do a three minute video wow. and I was just like but I was like this is awesome because mm -hmm. it was something I never did before yep. and I just got really excited about it so I was like maybe if I and I watched a little bit of YouTube at the time because I was also going natural right. so I um I was like, let me make a YouTube channel to get better at doing videos for my job, since this is what they want from me now. And I started doing little videos just to, to practice the editing, and I mm -hmm. just like fell in love with it. So I started my own channel because at the channel I had a boy, I had a, a video channel with my boyfriend, which still exists, but it won't soon. Deleting it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I started my own channel, and I just fell in love with it, and I just. It just grew from there. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's how I found you, was through yeah. online. And, yeah. Um, I'm so glad you started. I'll but, I mean, I'm sure the road hasn't been always easy. No. And what a lot of people don't know is that sometimes it takes a lot of courage to do something like that. So, yeah. um, can you tell us sort of how you get over fear and, you know, sometimes when you hear that negative voice telling you not to do something, how do you get over that? Well, okay, so I'll talk a little bit about 
the stuff I was telling y'all about. So I went through depression last year. Um, my, my dad was dying and I knew he was dying and I knew he was gonna die. I'm trying not to cry. But it was really, really hard for me to kind of pull myself out of it. And um, my sister had dealt with the depression prior, but she never really like, I never saw her like really down. Mm -hmm. um, I, she was just like, oh, I have depression. I was like, yeah, okay, girl, you're sad today. You know what I mean? Like right. I didn't know it was like a real thing. But since I was experiencing it, I was like, wow, like, this is serious. And so I knew, I, I mean, I have to make videos because this is my livelihood. Like I, I now I have like a, a side hustle on the side, but this yeah. is like my full time job. So it's yeah. like, I need to work so I can make money to pay right. rent. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, okay, I need to do this. I need to get up. But people saw like when they were watching my videos during that time that I just wasn't there. Like there was kind of like a, like a deadness, I guess, like between, you know, my eyes or whatever. But for me to kind of get over the home, I was like, I don't want to feel this way. Like, right. I don't, I know I'm depressed and I don't want to feel this way going on. Like I'm not myself. Right. So what I did was just like, okay, I had to push myself like every day, get up, go work out get outside you know what I'm saying yeah. like and it was just me telling myself that because my boyfriend he he wanted to talk to me about it and I didn't want to talk to him right. so for me it was just like I'm a grinding person anyway like even when yeah. I was in school you know getting yep. seven internships who has seven internships like <laughs> I was just like people grinding seven internships. yeah exactly they don't get it they don't, you know what I mean so yeah. it's just like grinding so I had to like really pull myself out of that and I didn't talk to anyone you know I know that you know you should it's okay to talk to people but I yeah, sure. just didn't want to do that so for me that was like the hardest thing I had to overcome was just like getting myself out of the depression and just believing that it was going to be okay and also just you know relying on my followers you guys you know my friends in my head you know saying yeah. like you can do it come on Charlie. you know wow. stuff like that so that's incredible yeah um if you could put your finger on maybe three things that sort of inspire you to keep going mm -hmm. when you have those moments of um, fear and depression yeah. and how do you get yourself out of it or what inspires you all right so this is not gonna be like a traditional response but okay. I'm not traditional yeah so one thing that keeps me like inspired to go on, to keep doing what I'm doing is knowing that I don't want a real job like I don't want a nine-to-five mm. because I had a couple in my life and I do not like taking like, like them. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> you most do people this. don't like. Yeah. I want to do what I want. Right. So <laughs> yeah, that is definitely inspiring me to keep going for it. And and just like another thing is just knowing that I have, I want to help people. So when I first started YouTube, it was about providing information for people who didn't really have it. Now YouTube is kind of saturated. I feel like everybody does natural hair tutorials. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Like, it's not a bad thing because there's more information out there. For sure. But when I started, I was always having other people on my channel telling them what they do, helping other people get the word out about what it is they're doing, the awesome things they're doing in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to get back to that. So now I have, like, the salon experience and... I'm trying to go to different areas so people know of a salon they can go to just in case they don't want to keep it on their hair or they want to get a cut and they don't know how to cut their hair. Mm -hmm. They want to get dye in their hair but they don't know how to dye their hair, you know, something right. like that. So I want to provide content for people like myself who don't really know, like, they don't know what's in their area or they don't know how to go to for certain things. Like, I want to provide that information for people. Okay. And number three, um, I'm inspired by you guys like I'm inspired by you telling me what you want um, mm -hmm. what you want to see on the channel what is missing you know I want to be able to provide that voice for people who don't necessarily who are not on YouTube or don't see themselves on TV or something like that mm -hmm. so that's what inspires me that's awesome <laughs> I am inspired by you thank and you. thank you so much I um, I guess my last question is how do people keep in touch with you I'm sure you have every social media outlet, so why don't you yes. tell us where we can find you? Um, Char at Shari J everywhere, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm not on Snapchat. I feel like Snapchat is like the new thing. Oh yeah, all and the I'm, cool kids are doing it. And I'm, I'm old now. I feel like, like I used to laugh at the people who are like, you don't know what Twitter and Instagram is, and people are like Snapchat. And I'm like, what? what are you yeah, about? yeah. So yeah, I'm at Shari J C H A R Y J A Y everywhere. Find me. Hit me up. What up, though? Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you! I hope you enjoy Toronto. <sighs> it is cold, it is overcast, but it's we still beautiful. have lots to do. Yeah, I'm excited. So We're going to go sightseeing. Definitely. Yes, she's going to me up. 
So thank you so much. Thank you. Give me a hug. <laughs>